Good morning. I welcome you all here at PT Tutorials Asus Group. I am Shruti, your PT coach. Today I would discuss about the relation between speaking, reading, and listening module, and will try to give the answers in the end of the webinar of your queries. If you have any query regarding anything, you can uh, send your query in the question box. And just tell me, am I audible to you all? Everything is fine. Are you able to see the screen? Thank you, Kumar. So let's start the relation between speaking, reading, and listening module. As we all are aware that Pearson exam is about integrated tasks. It doesn't mean that if we are doing only speaking module, then we are getting only and only speaking score. We will get reading and listening score too. And from listening module, we will get reading score too. So today I would discuss about all these things so that everyone should aware about the integrated tasks from uh, integrated tasks that you the score that you get from these three communicative skills speaking reading and listening in speaking module we have four question types read alouds repeat sentences retell lectures and answer short questions from these four tasks you people get either reading or listening score and on the other side in listening module there are two tasks from where you people get your reading score side by side i'll tell you the strategies too for this so that uh, you can enhance your skills let's first start with read aloud that is the very first task of your speaking module in read aloud one paragraph will be there in this uh, speaking module you will get six to seven paragraphs in the read aloud task your speaking score is dependent on two skills two enabling skills one is your fluency and other one is your pronunciation fluency score will be directly added to your speaking module and from pronunciation the score that you gather for this enabling skill pronunciation that is added to your content score the more pronunciation score will be the more you will have content score and as one paragraph will be there under this task we are not only speaking something we are reading one paragraph too so definitely we will get the credit for reading module that is your reading score will also be there and reading score is directly dependent on your content score the score that you get from content that is added to your reading module and one more thing five marks we get for fluency five marks we get for pronunciation then how many marks i'll be getting for the content that would be added to your reading score see that thing is actually hidden no one is aware of this thing reason being no one is aware actually that how many words you'll be getting in one paragraph of read aloud there can be 50 words there can be 40 words and one more thing the number of times when you get one paragraph and read aloud if you get some difficult words definitely in that case the percentile that you'll be getting from the content score will be added to your reading score that will be increased if you have very easy words easy read alouds means percentile of read aloud question that will be get going to your reading module that will become less the more difficulty the more percentile is there so be careful about these things now i'm showing one uh, <coughs> sorry read aloud this is the read aloud now if i'm speaking with fluency people have this doubt in their mind that fluency means i have to speak very fast no why we will speak very fast or why will I speak very slow? 
I have to follow the natural pace actually. And the natural pace, we all speak in such a way that everyone should be able to understand what I want to say. That is called the natural pace. The moment you are speaking very slow, just like now, if I speak very slow, push pins, also known as thumb tags for bulletin boards. This is the wrong method. Reason being, if you search this thing on Google now, um, what is the ideal word per minute when a person will speak something? What would be the words per minute? See, it will come out 120 to 150 words per minute. If someone is not speaking either less or more than this range, then it means we are in danger zone. That is why sometimes people back to back, they are giving their exam, but still they are not able to get the score in speaking. Fluency score is 80 plus. Pronunciation score is also 80 plus. But still, my total score of speaking is 75, 76, 78. Software is not giving you 79. That is basically our requirement. Reason, you are not following the pace accurately. This is the reason behind it. So always be careful. Check your words per minute. If you are coming in this range, and one more thing, if someone is having uh, 121 words per minute, 122, again, that person is in danger zone. Because at that time, you were on 121, 122. But maybe in exam, there are six tasks for read aloud. And this is not only meant for read aloud. Throughout your speaking module, words per minute should be coming in that range. It means any one of the times I uh, might have spoken less than 120 words per minute. If my range is coming 121, 122, that can also be happened. So ideal word length will be, words per minute will be 130 to 140. That is the best thing. So always check your word, words per minute, then move to the next important thing. That is the pronunciation. You have to open your mouth more whenever you are speaking anything so that the software would capture your proper sound. See, I always say two words when I'm describing about the pronunciation. Number one, clear pronunciation. Number two, Correct pronunciation. Correct pronunciation should be at number one. After that, number two, clear pronunciation. Sometimes many of the words we are aware of their pronunciation. There will be very really less words um, if I will look for, for which I would not be aware of the actual pronunciation. Because since childhood, we are studying English. So, Correct pronunciation, we are aware, suppose. But if I'm not pronouncing that word correctly, then I will not get the credit for pronunciation. So clarity should also be there. And clarity would only come when you open your mouth more. It's really very important thing. And the, in the last, content. Each and every word which will be written over here in the paragraph, that is content. And what basically pronunciation is, each and every word which is written here, if you are pronouncing the word correct and clear, that word will give you the score for pronunciation. That is why pronunciation and content scores, these two are one couple. So always be careful about the content, what, whatever is given, you have to speak those words clearly correctly and don't take unnecessary long pauses when you see comma when you see full stop period i'm giving one example push pins after that i have a comma i should not stop there properly it should look like just as if you have taken a breed push pins also known as thumb tags for bulletin boards are very popular in corporate offices. They are used to hang daily office documents. Normally, pushpins have a metal point and a top with a cylindrical shape head. 
whereas bulletin boards are made out of cork. It is a very useful tool for employees and managers as they mainly use it to hang memos, calendars, work manuals, and others. That's it. You have to follow this pitch. You have to follow this space. Only then the software will give you 90 influency. And another important thing, if you have any query side by side, you can send your query in the question box. Next, uh, I was saying, someone is not able to hear me, please check out your connection. <clears throat> In read alouds, as you are also getting reading score, I'm repeating here, no one knows this thing that how much score you will be getting for reading module that will be coming out from your read alouds. Reason, I'm not aware, even no one will be aware of this thing that these many words I'll be getting in each of the read aloud. It may vary. That's why score varies. And one more thing difficulty level if you get easy read alouds less score will be there for reading module if you have gotten uh, some high vocabulary words definitely at that time difficulty level has been increased means your percentile that you'll be getting from reading uh, read alouds that will be going to your read reading module that would increase so be careful about these things Next, repeat sentences. See, this is your second task of your speaking module. In repeat sentences, again, fluency pronunciation content comes. Fluency score will be added to your speaking. Pronunciation score that is equal to your content score. And on the basis of content score, you people get listening. Fluency score, you get five marks. Pronunciation, you get five marks and content score, you get three marks from each and every repeat sentence. Suppose I got 10 repeat sentences, 13 marks from one, 130 marks I'll be getting from one question type. Again, I'm saying this thing that your paper is not of 90 marks. It is always more than 90 and speaking paper is more than 300 marks. You can also count it again and again. I'm saying this thing. This is a percentile game. You have to think as per it. If you are not working over integrated tasks, you are not thinking as per um, the intervened module scores. Definitely, you will not be able to ace this exam. So be careful about these things. Again, in repeat sentences, today I'm give, going to give you um, a little bit relief. When you will open the PT score guide released by Pearson only, nothing else, okay? In repeat sentences, when you check the scoring, it is completely clearly written over there that the moment you fumble somewhere, hesitations are there. You are following the leading or trailing material. Now, what is the meaning of leading and trailing material? Leading means sometimes what happens? People say, when the speaker speaks one sentence, I'm not able to capture the last few words, or I'm able to capture only the last few words. I forget generally what the speaker said in the first part. If you are speaking either first few words or the last few words, it means that you will not get any negative, uh, you will not have any negative impact on your scores. You will get the credit. Yes. And somehow, if we uh, hesitate because of the phobia of the exam and because of this repeat sentences phobia, basically, still we will get the score. Somehow, your content may suffer because um, either you are missing some of the words from the content but your fluency score will not drop two three days back one person got 90 each and these were his words 
I fumbled thrice and repeat sentences, but don't know how would I be able to score this uh, 90. Reason, percentile gain, and your speaking score is not out of only and only 90. It is out of 300 or plus. After that, the software takes the percentile of your earned scores. For example, if I got 218 marks out of 320, 40 marks are less. And then the percentile will be taken out. 280 divided by 320 multiplied by 90. That is equal to 79 approximately. That is why still we people are able to get 8 band after committing some errors in speaking. So this is just a relief. And for the strategy, I have taken here one read, uh, repeat sentence. Does anyone know how to use the new constitutional voting system? You know what? When the speaker would be speaking this line now, he or she cannot speak in this way. Does anyone know how to use the new constitutional voting system? Because when I will speak or some other person will speak in this way, you people will never be able to get or to understand what the speaker is speaking. And when you will further read the score guide, it is clearly written there. You have to follow or you have to mimic the tone. You might have watched many videos on YouTube which say this thing that uh, mimic the tone, mimic the tone. Didn't you ever put a question? Why I have to mimic that tone? Basically, the reason behind that is when you are mimicking something, you are mimicking the tone. It means you have already understood that question. Otherwise, you will not be able to mimic anyone. First, I would have to understand the content, what the speaker is speaking. Only after that, I would be able to mimic the tone. If I would speak in just one uh, straight line, does anyone know how to use it? Then will you be able to understand? No. But if I will follow this tone uh, in my speech, definitely you will be able to understand first. And only after that, you will be able to mimic the tone. That is why in your Pearson exam, always, always the speaker will be speaking with ups and downs in the speech so that you would be able to know whether it is a question mark repeat sentence or it is a full stop repeat sentence or some exclamation etc the speaker will always speak in this way does anyone know how to use the new constitutional warning system Will you be able to understand this time? Just tell me yes or no. Yes. Yes, Kula. Because the moment we will listen someone um, in understanding way, definitely we will be able to produce each and everything. I have taken one or two more repeat sentences and these are from real exam. There was a big bush fire and everyone in the town got evacuated. You got the meaning? Next one. Vitamin C is clinically proven to boost your immune system. Again. When the tone is there in the speech, definitely first we understand, after that we will mimic it. Next is your third task, retail lecture. It's my favorite question type. Reason? Because it actually, uh, what should I say? It actually uh, checks your skills. In retail lecture, what would happen? One audio will be there from 35 to 1 minute. 35 seconds to one minute. The moment you are listening to the audio, 
notepad will be provided by the center people to you you will be writing you will be jotting down the points keywords phrases on the notepad after that as the audio finishes you get eight seconds six to eight seconds and then after those six to eight seconds you have to produce the speech you have to retell that lecture uh, into the microphone now that's why um, sometimes we people fumble because uh, we are not good in jotting down the keywords or we are not good in framing the sentence while we are uh, speaking something I'll tell you the strategy for each and everything in read a lecture first come uh, let's talk about the score fluency score that is equal to your speaking five marks pronunciation score five marks that is equal to your content score five marks will be added to your listening score so if my content means the keywords they are less definitely I will not get good score in listening let me tell you one thing if you will um, start analyzing 1000 score reports you will get 700 score reports in uh, those reports people would are uh, would actually they are suffering in listening margin because we are not able to deal with this margin yes 70 percent people are suffering and listening because our written lectures and summary spoken text we are not able to actually capture the keywords if we are able to capture the keywords we are not able to frame the sentences either in writing part or in speaking part so be careful practice as much as you can the more you practice the more you listen to native speakers the more you will be able to understand the lecture and the moment you understand something then there is even no need to um, write any template there is no need to even use any template while you are speaking something or while you are writing something you always feel the need of using a template either in speaking or in writing part of retail and some spoken text respectively when you have actually not practiced well that's why practice and bulk practice is really very really important and you will get bulk material for practice from this PTE tutorials app it's free of course to download it and practice I have taken here uh, transcript so that I could uh, tell you in a better way what is the meaning of keywords and uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> <coughs> basically what do you mean by keywords so that you would be able to understand or you would be able to write more on the notepad number one is bulk practice when you are done with bulk practice after that what would happen the moment the speaker is speaking something the transcript is there have you ever noticed yourself yourself twitching just before falling asleep this paragraph is all about hypnic twitch that is called jolt uh, when we want to sleep our body wants to sleep but our actually mind is not so at that time we start getting joints we start getting hypnic twitch twitching it is called this is about that so speaker is talking speaker is telling you everything about this you start writing you start writing then you write one one word I don't believe that software gives you the score basis on one one keyword it is clearly written in PD score guide the moment you write the main aspects then you get your scores for content and the aspects doesn't mean that I have to write keywords only one one keyword twitching phenomenon hypnic 
feeling of falling, going bed before, caffeine, consume. This is the wrong method, actually. So red highlighted words are actually the keywords, phrases you have to write. In the end, I have highlighted in blue color. You know what? Sometimes we are not able to capture the things in the starting. And when I'm not able to capture anything in the starting, what will happen? I would be demotivated and will think, oh, I, have, uh, I haven't understood what the speaker is speaking. Now, maybe I will make my mind in such a way. After that, I will also not be able to understand. The moment where you have ever felt this thing that I have skipped something. My mind has skipped to something to understand. Again, make your step firm. And just give one command to your mind that now onwards, whatever I'm going to do or whatever I'm listening, I have to listen very carefully. And one more thing. You know what? 50, 60 percent, some lectures are like, whenever a teacher de delivers his or her lecture, he or she will first tell you about the title and in the end what will happen they will give you the summary of something you know what from here till here the speaker will be talking about twitching and all and in the end from here when the body till here he or she is just concluding the whole transcript you can also get the same kind of words in the end Suppose I started my lecture with the relation between reading, speaking, and uh, listening module. So when I'll be on the last uh, slide, definitely I would say like this. This was all about reading, listening, and speaking module. From, so never ever get demotivated. So the moment you feel anything weird, after that, make yourself more firm, more strong about the coming things. So in reader lecture, focus on keywords and the keywords will give you the score for listening. As I already told you, 70% people, the lack in listening module because of reader lecture and because of summarized spoken text and because of your keywords. So be prepare yourself about keywords, phrases so that you get good and good score. Next is your answer short questions. In answer short question, you get plus one for giving the correct answer. One question will be there. If you give the correct answer, you get plus one. There is no fluency score because by uttering one word or three, four couple of words, no one will say this thing that you are fluent. That's why there is no fluency score. Only and only pronunciation score will be there. And the score that you earn for pronunciation that is added to your content score further that is added to your listening score. And the percentile of that is added to your vocabulary. And that further is the part of your writing score because entirely Vocabulary enabling skill is the part of your writing margin. So be careful about answer short questions. From this question type, you can also get the score for writing. So prepare yourself from repeated material. February month, March prediction uh, and March month prediction file. These are circulated in many groups. So you can download PDFs and uh, prepare yourself from it. And one more thing, if you need the uh, audios, you can refer PT Tutorials YouTube channel. You can subscribe it every month. Uh, repeated stuff is there in audio form too. You will get the pictures and uh, you will also get the questions in answer short questions. So practice there and increase your score. I have taken here some of the, uh, some of the repeated stuff. Uh, in answer short questions question is if there are eight black balls and one white ball in a jar I randomly pick one what color which color is mostly likely to be picked answer is black the more black balls are there 
What is the color of the medal if you win the competition? Gold. What is the verb form of the noun abstention? Answer is abstain. And people have gotten these questions from uh, PT tutorials, Feb month uh, prediction file. So please prepare yourself from there also. Then comes to your listening module. In listening, there are two tasks. First one is your highlight correct summary. First one doesn't mean that you will get this question at the first place. From listening module, you get reading score. That is from your highlight correct summary. Plus one for marking the correct answer. Credit will be double. Because from this question type, you are getting listening and reading score. The moment you are Committing any mistake in that task from where you get two module scores means integrated task is that one. It means you will always get the double credit. And one more thing, if you are marking it incorrect, don't forget penalty is also double. So always prepare yourself for all those integrated tasks first. After that, move on to individual tasks so that you can earn more and more score from those integrated or intervened module scores, tasks. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. As I said, in highlight correct summary, plus one for marking the correct answer. If that plus one is added to your listening, maybe less than plus one or more than plus one will be added to your reading module. It depends upon the percentile. And if I am marking incorrect, I know there is no negative marking, but still, as I would not get the credit for listening, similarly, I would not get the credit for reading module too. So that's why prepare yourself good for this task too sometimes we get 78 in reading other module scores are 80 plus that one mark actually pinches because my main focus is on read, read alouds reading blanks reorder paragraphs what about these one one mark questions we think that this is just one mark question. Let me tell you, in your real exam, you will get two to three questions from this type. And if I got three highlight correct summaries, plus three, and maybe those were having the higher difficulty level, definitely in that case, reading score, I would be getting more than plus one from each question. Three from one side, may, so, Suppose I'm taking only the same amount of score for your reading. Three plus three, six marks you are getting. How can I think of deducing or not uh, preparing myself for those six marks? Because for one mark, we have to reappear. These are just six marks. Then why would not I prepare myself for these question types? For this, never assume this thing that I can only prepare uh, for uh, difficult tasks or for only and only for intervened uh, integrated tasks. When target is 79 plus, being a percentile game means you have to work overall on each and every task. So be careful about this. I have taken here one transcript. You can get the same transcript in the PT Tutorials app. Last question of highlight correct summary. I think it is 122 or 42. Last question. And this is a real exam question. It is about sharks and all. Great white shark, one to the east and one to the west of straight IT was discovered, blah, blah. And here are the options. You have to select only one option and you can move to the next. Why reading score is there? Because the moment you are finding your answer and 
here the options will be having more stuff more words will be there that is why it means you are not only uh, going you are not only reading one single straight line you will have a paragraph that is why because of the paragraph will come here in the options you get reading score for this one simple tip if you want to prepare yourself for this question i would ask you even i would suggest you to prepare yourself for summary spoken text because highlight correct summary their summaries are given to you and in summary spoken text there also you listen to the audio after that you make your own summary if you want to be the best in this task or in that one you have to prepare yourself for entangled task for summary spoken text i would ask you to prepare 50 questions in one go for this question after that you would be able to understand that in summary spoken text what i have to find what i have to write then and on the other side if i have done 30 40 summary spoken text and i'm getting good score in sst then it means i know that which things actually when i collect they will give me the best summary summary means coherence summary means it's a story summary means it's a picture that no one should get the need to go through the transcript everyone everything should be there only and only in your option which you have marked it so be careful not only plus one score is there five to six marks you can get four to six marks you can get from this question time or maybe more than that the next and the last question type of listening module from where you get your listening as well as reading score the task is highlight incorrect words one paragraph will be there you have to highlight the words let me show you just like now I have highlighted the words I know not these many highlighting words will be there in your real exam I'll tell you something more over it let me tell you the scoring and highlight incorrect words you have to highlight the words while the audio will be playing side by side you listen and side by side you are reading the paragraph that's why you earn your reading module score too now the chances are that in this question type in the paragraph i can select almost every word i can highlight almost every word that is why in that case we all can get maximum score from this question and can move to the next question that is why pearson has made here negative marking so the negative marking is there means if and negative marking plus integrated task question is this one this is the only and only one question type where you get negative marking plus from where you are getting one more module score it means i cannot make a single error in this question give me one minute huh I'm sorry because of sinus sometimes I get so much sneezing and all coming back to the point I was saying this is the only one question from where you people are getting integrated scores as well as negative marking sometimes we don't prepare ourselves for this question type see it is very easy even a third class student can do it but still we need the concentration the moment you are listening at that time you are reading it that's why listening and reading score you get plus plus one score will be there when you mark the correct when you highlight the correct word and plus one is not 
going to your listening bank but it is also going to your reading when i am selecting any incorrect word i'm highlighting any incorrect word which is not there in the answer list it means that not only listening score is gone but my reading score is also gone so be careful we cannot even uh, spare ourselves for this question type you have to have to mark all the correct answers and please never skip anything never skip one word because you skipped one word means minus 2 is directly there minus because you will not get the credit for that particular word and that credit is not going to your listening as well as your reading score but one more thing skipping one word doesn't mean that you will get negative marks the scores you have earned those scores will be like that only nothing will be deducted but i'm saying credit will also not be there if you skip something because this is just the simple task only you have to concentrate on the audio side by side your pronunciation should be good if you are not aware of the pronunciation of any of the word definitely in that case you will not be able to capture that sound from the audio and you will mark incorrect <clears throat> another important thing as i have highlighted here many words and in real exam you will get less words hardly 3 to 5 words will be there in one paragraph those which uh, you have to highlight them then why i have marked i have highlighted so many words can anyone tell me okay i'll tell you the reason you know what every time in this question type <coughs> whenever you have to put uh the stress you have to put the stress on three to four things number 1 is your noun number 2 is your adjective number 3 it verbs and number 4 is your form of verbs yes you have to highlight actually in your real exam too or in practice time too you will think that you will analyze this thing while you will be practicing let the words you are highlighting those are nothing but those words are form of verbs nouns they are adjectives or they are adverbs that is why you know what i remember when i was uh, giving this exam speaker is on this my cursor was exactly on that word that which the speaker is going to speak wrong and i had to highlight you can also have this thing in your mind the more you practice the more you will actually know the loopholes of everything practice in understanding way that is the most important thing but we have never ever thought it that we just listen to the audio and we mark the word highlight the word but we never thought what would be the reason that speaker would have spoken that word something else the moment you have understood these things now at that time i won't say this thing that uh, you would not be able to get good score I'm sorry for the interruption. Yes, I was saying that you have to take care of the understanding part. But why only that word? I had to highlight. The moment you have understood this thing, it means 
everything is done from your side. I have highlighted here almost all those words which the speaker can use. They are some other words. Delegates to the American Continental Congress. Now see, he or she. <laughs> the speaker can never change the name of this thing. American Continental Congress. Chances will be there that he or she will change this word approved because those person who are actually the speakers, they will in the speech, the correct transcript will be there. And this paragraph would be having some of the words which are not suiting over there. So it means I need the synonyms for that. I can replace the word of word here approved by some other word. And on the other side, I can also change the word signed. Here I have marked the word, highlighted the word non. I can also change. The speaker can also use some other word. <laughs> Recognized as they can speak. Yet not everyone in the former colonies agreed. They can use some other words at the place of former, maybe later or something else. Colonies can be replaced by some other word. Agreed can be replaced by some other word. Only and only I can choose those stuff for which I have the synonyms. I don't have the synonym for this word, American Continental Congress. So I cannot choose some other word at the place of this. No one knows for sure how many Americans remained loyal, remained can be replaced loyal to Great Britain. The Massachusetts political leader John Adams said about 33% of the colonies supported Supported word is spoken by the speaker many times. See, one, two, three. So definitely this word can be highlighted. Independence, 33% supported Britain and 33% supported any side. Most history experts, they can use some other word at the place of experts today, believe can be used somewhere else, that about 20% of the colonists, once I have got the colonists, if it is highlighted, then definitely here some other word would be there. If I haven't highlighted, definitely speaker would speak some other word at the place of this colonists. Supported Britain, they say the other were neutral or supported with each which side seemed to be winning. So you have to be careful about nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and form of verbs. These words will be there in the paragraph that you actually have to highlight them. This was all about uh, the relation between speaking, reading, and listening. One more thing I want to say about this task. Plus one is there that will be added to your listening module. And plus one will also be there that will not always plus one. Maybe it is less than plus one or maybe it is more than plus one that will be added to your reading module. Now, if I select any wrong word, minus one is directly there for listening and definitely minus one or less than minus one. The more it depends upon the credit. If you are get, getting the credit plus one, definitely when you are marking something incorrect, debit will be there minus one only. But if suppose for reading module, I'm getting 0.5 marks from each marking or highlighting the correct word then 0.5 will be deducted from your reading module too but we don't understand this thing that in this task there is not only debit for listening but debit is also there for your reading module whenever we select anything wrong so be careful about this Always you have to be, you have to select the correct words and practice is the only solution of that. Here no one will sit with you and I'm talking about here tutor, he or she will give you the commands. Okay, now see, the speaker was speaking at that place, this word, so you have to highlight it. 
it is just your own skill listening and reading your own mind should start work so be careful about this now let's come up with your questions if you have want to ask anything just send your query so that i can uh, revert to you i hope uh, you have understood whatever i have explained in this giving you time to type your query so that i can revert the word Am I audible to you all? Okay, as uh, no one is typing anything, so if you have any query, you can ask your queries in PT Tutorials Telegram group. Some of you might uh, not be there in that group, so what you can do for that, download Telegram app, and then. Uh, PT tutorials dot online search over there you will directly be, uh, jump into that group there are 10,000 people members are there tutors are there from PT tutorials Oasis group uh, they always help you there throughout 24 by 7 they are present there so this is the best thing that it is also free of cost so join that group and ask your queries there too I hope this lecture will be helpful to you in the evening. Uh, this lecture will be uploaded on YouTube. You can also go through with the lecture again. Take care. Bye-bye.